This is called a figure eight on a bite. It's for creating a strong loop without having to use the tail end of your rope. So this is a bite. You grab the neck, take the bite, and pass it over the bottom strands of your rope. Then you bring that bite underneath or around the back and then take it, pass it through the loop you've just created. And it should look like a figure eight. Pull it tight. One more time. Take your bite and pass it over the top of your bottom strands. Bring it around the back and pass it back up through. Now note this is exactly like an overhand knot. In an overhand knot, you would just bring it around the back and pass it up through from the back side. And that's an overhand. The difference with a figure eight is that you go around one extra turn. You come over the top and instead of passing it up through, you come all the way around again to the top, pass it back through from the top. Here's our figure eight again. It's important to dress a knot correctly. And when a knot is dressed correctly, it means that all the strands are lined up the way that they should be. And that helps you get the maximum strength out of a knot, and it's also easier to untie. So first you have to be able to recognize when a knot isn't, cre isn't dressed correctly. And in this case, with a figure eight, it's, it's really easy. You just have to follow the strands, and all strands should be parallel to each other throughout the knot. So you look around for anywhere where the strands are not parallel. In this case, we can see one strand crossing over the top of another. And that's going to create a weak point in the knot. Because when all strands are parallel, all pressure is distributed evenly throughout the knot. But in this case, we have a pinch point, where one is going to be pinching on top of the other. And that's going to weaken your knot. So it's easy to fix. When you find an X like this, and you want to make it parallel, you just do that. Just start moving the strand until it becomes parallel. And in this case, we have to switch their order here at the base of the knot. So you pull a little bit of slack out, change the order of those two strands coming out of the base, and then pull it tight again. Now we can follow the parallel lines through our knot, parallel coming up through, up here, come around the back, going through to the other side, they're parallel, around the back and up through to the top, all parallel, so that is a nicely dressed figure eight.